<laughs> anyway, enough of that. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to day two of my autumn fashion edit, aka haul week. As you can see, I'm going for the equestrian look today. I put on my horsey blouse and I just thought how cute that would look with like a big like top knot bun and I never have my hair up on YouTube so I feel really weird but hi. Today we have H&M, I'm very excited this box is empty because it was so heavy even when the delivery guy came to the door he was like struggling to carry it to the door. It's just because winter clothes are like twice as heavy as spring summer clothes but I'm so excited for this haul because I feel like I got some really cool outfits that are a little bit different and I'm just so excited to try them on. Before we get going please don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, turn post notifications on, don't forget that everything I try on in the video today will be linked down below in the info box. So let's get going. So guys here is the first look and I am obsessed with this outfit. I love everything about it. Sadly I did have to lose the equestrian bun to make way for the hat but we will come back to that. First of all we have to talk about the top and this is part of H&M's latest designer collaboration with Richard Allen. Now Richard Allen was one of the most like famous iconic designers in London in the 60s along with like Mary Quant and that kind of thing. The collection is absolutely amazing and I think I picked out like four things from the collection because as you guys know the 60s is like my style like life and dream. I just love the 60s style, especially British, like London 60s. So when this collaboration dropped, I just almost fainted because it's so incredible. And I love this top so much. I am definitely going to be keeping this because I just love like the fact that they have done this collaboration with Richard Allen and it's like a piece of the 60s. And the colors for me on this top are just absolutely perfect because we've got cream, camel brown, beige, and tonally it just fits in so well with my autumn winter wardrobe. And I'm just obsessed with it. I love like the neck and the style, everything about it, I just want to marry this top. I paired it with this really gorgeous skirt, which I am so impressed with for H&M, because sometimes I think that their skirts are a little bit hit and miss, but this is actually real suede. It's a really beautiful, like deep dark brown suede to match the brown in the top. And it just feels like such nice quality. Like I feel like I could be wearing one of the suede skirts from Reese or something, like seriously, it's a really, really nicely made skirt and I think they just go so well together and then I just felt like topping the whole thing off with a beret this is a cream one and I think it just goes so well with the whole look I feel like I never want to take it off and if you hadn't guessed already I think that I will be definitely keeping this entire look because also this skirt you could get like lots of wear out of and wear it with lots of different types of tops and knitwear and stuff and it's a very good autumn winter wardrobe staple so a great way to start the video if you ask me jumping straight back into the swinging 60s just really makes me want to dance like <laughs> Anyway, enough of that. So guys, here is look number two. The bun is back and this is obviously another one of the Richard Allen pieces. I don't like this one as much. In fact, actually I don't really like it at all. I love the pattern. Um, I really love the pattern. It's another like brown and like gold and cream sort of like chain print, but it's just like the shape of the dress. It's just too like loose and baggy and this was the smallest size that I could get, but this is just too baggy for me. Um, I do kind of like the style. I do understand what they were going for, but I just don't think this like does anything for you. Like, like, it's not flattering, it's not like particularly cool, I don't think. I feel like the shape looks a bit like Jesus on the cross. Does that like ring any bells for anyone else? Yeah, I'm just not really not keen on the shape. I did pick up a belt to put on with it as well because I anticipated that I might want to like nip it in a bit. But the unfortunate thing is there is actually a seam here that's like above the waist. So I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's give it a try. Okay, so this is as tight as the belt can go. And do you see, you can't really do that because of this seam, it looks like, it looks all wrong. So you can't really wear a belt with it unless you put the belt all the way up here, I suppose. I mean, is that a look? No, not really, I don't think so. So yeah, I'm not a fan of this one, which is a shame um, because I do love the pattern, but luckily I did get a top in the pattern, um, which I'll put on next. So hopefully I like that. But I think that this is too much of a big sack for me. So I'm going to have to sack it off. <laughs> 
so here is look number three and I really really like this so this top is the same Richard Allen print as the dress and something that I should have mentioned um, before is that Richard Allen actually designed scarves in the 60s and they were like really cute like head scarves and neck scarves and they've taken his like iconic scarf designs and I don't know if they've recreated them or just redesigned them and put them onto actual like garments which is so so cool and I just really really like the top i don't know if i prefer this top or the first one i think maybe the first one because i think the first one stands out more i think because the pattern here is smaller um then it's a little bit more understated which you might like and then i just popped it on with this really cute cream corduroy skirt which is really nice really comfortable it fits really really nicely it was kind of hard to get on like over my bum but now it's on it feels like a really really good fit and i just really like the way these two look together i would obviously wear all of this so far with my over the knee boots you guys are going to get sick of me saying that this week but they really just go with everything and they would really add to the 60s look as well the whole thing is just such a 60s style the high neck top the high waist skirt but yeah this is totally something that i can see myself wearing a lot in autumn winter this whole like high neck high waist skirt as you guys know is so my thing so yeah i love this outfit definitely a success let's check out the next one so here is the last richard allen piece and i love this dress it is a sensation this is so incredible i just am gobsmacked i love this pattern and this print so much and i just think this captures that whole swinging 60s vibe and essence so so perfectly i love everything about this dress i love the shape the high neck these like balloon sleeves and then just how it falls so beautifully it's so different to the other dress even though it's not fitted it's just so different i can't describe it this is so not like sacky can you see it's still kind of clinging to the body and these sleeves are so beautiful. I think it's probably because they're elasticated at the wrist. So you get that lovely billow and it just looks so stylish and statement. Can you imagine with black <laughs> over the knee boots or even those white knee highs from yesterday um, and like a black headband. Oh my God, should we put a black headband on? Oh my God, it looks so cute with the headband. I cannot, I just love this dress. It's not the best like autumn winter dress because it's very like thin and flimsy not in a horrible way at all actually the fabric's beautiful but it's very like silky and satiny and pretty much like no warmth to it whatsoever but it would be just such an amazing like a party dress or even just like a day-to-day -day dress like i would wear this just to like go out shopping or something like that but you could wear it as like a kind of party dress if you wanted to i just think it's so cool it's so unique it does not look like you found it at H&M. It definitely looks like you went into Selfridges and picked it out from one of the designers. I also got a belt to wear with this one just to see what it would look like because I feel like you could totally change the vibe of this dress by bringing it in at the waist. Okay, so this belt is a little bit big for me. It's definitely not a waist belt, but it actually does look cute if you bring yourself in at the waist. It kind of just gives it a little bit of a different shape and I think it works both ways. So you could wear this dress two ways and get double the use out of it. I just think it's so cool. I really love this. I think it is so unique and unusual and fun and stand out. And I think we are so lucky that H&M do these designer collaborations because it means that you can get your hands on something that maybe otherwise you wouldn't have been able to because typically you wouldn't find something like this on the high street. It is like a higher end just type of style and design. So I just feel so grateful that H&M do these collaborations and I just love, love this one. I just want them to do more of it. I need more. <laughs> So now we are out of the swinging 60s back into 2019 with a pretty basic autumn winter outfit but these type of outfits are so just casual and easy to wear but still cute. I love this jumper, I love a cream cable knit jumper in autumn winter, it's just like a style staple for me and I probably do already have some um, but this one is so so cute, it's a little bit itchy but a lot of knitwear is, it's kind of something you just have to deal with and it's just so cute because it has all these little bobbles on and I just tucked it into this also very cute skirt it's a gorgeous colour, a very very pale nude um, which is really versatile and it's like the whole utility style which is a really really big trend and just like the jumper you could get a lot of wear out of this skirt and wear it with lots of different tops like maybe one of the Richard Allen tops if it was a slightly warmer day or like countless knitwear turtlenecks even like t-shirts if that's your thing it's just really really versatile and the color's great because you can wear it with literally any color so definitely another like wardrobe staple it's just really really cute and I just love keeping my color scheme up in winter sometimes it's difficult because light colors and like pinks 
um, are more associated with spring, summer and can sometimes look a bit out of place in autumn, winter. But this doesn't at all. I think it's very, very wintry and cute and cosy. And this is the kind of thing that I would wear like every day in autumn, winter. Oh, oh wow. Okay. I confuse myself sometimes. What am I wearing right now? Like what universe are we in? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what to say. Sometimes I just get a bit conscious that I don't want to show you like the same old outfit because I always wear like a turtleneck and a high waist skirt and I could show you like 17 combinations per haul of that type of outfit. So I'm always like, okay, let's try something different. Um, but I think this was probably a step too far. Um, I think, it, you know, there is kind of cool elements to it, but it's just not very me. Um, I thought maybe that this could be like a nice like loungewear, really, really casual outfit, maybe something that you'd wear like on the plane or, you know, like a long train journey, long car journey, that kind of thing. Um, but it's just very odd. And actually when I put the vest on before the trousers, it looked like kind of a cute mini dress, but it is unfortunately too short and it has this like slit. So you can't really wear it as a dress, but I kind of liked the idea of it. It has like a bit of a 70s, like 70s glam vibe, um, but I just think it looks a little bit odd. Like the trousers are flared. This is very long. I mean, maybe actually if this was like a little crop top, it would look cute, but I think I just don't like how long it comes. It just looks like I'm wearing overalls or something. I'll show you the trousers. Oh my God, they are so long. Look how long they are. It's pretty good actually, because normally when you're tall, everything is too short, but these are really, really long. And they are actually quite nice. They're very comfortable and they're not unflattering, but I think it's just the top. The top is a little bit weird. It's just too long like for it to look stylish in my opinion. So yeah, I think I would probably give this a miss, although I do kind of like the trousers for the whole like traveling aspect, maybe with like a little white t-shirt tied in a knot or like a little high neck tank top, something like that. It may look cute, but as an outfit, this is like what the actual heck. And that's all I've really got to say about that. So back to more of a more wearable outfit. So I first of all had this little sleeveless like roll neck top. I wear these all the time, spring, summer, autumn, winter. They're just a really good thing to have in your wardrobe. Won't be keeping this because I already have so many, but this is a really, really nice option. I always look on like H&M, ASOS a lot of the time, and River Island for these kinds of basics because they always do lots of different colors and they're available like all year round and they're really good. And I just paired it with this skirt, which I think I thought was gonna be cuter than it is. It's a little like high waist A-line skirt and a nice beige, which is a good color. I do like it for autumn, but I think it maybe looks a little bit like officey, a bit like work wear so I'm not like super into this skirt I'm a little bit disappointed but the main kind of thing about this outfit was the cardigan this year for some reason I think cardigans are in more than ever and I've never really liked cardigans I thought they're a bit like school uniform or a bit like old lady um, but I do kind of think that maybe I should look into getting one because they do seem to be really in this season for whatever reason so I spotted this cardigan which maybe it wasn't the best idea to pair it with a white top because it is kind of off-white um, but I kind of don't really know how to style cardigans I'm just really not used to it but I thought this was really cute because it was kind of like cropped but oversized I really liked the whole kind of style of it and I saw a really expensive version of this which is going to be in my haul tomorrow so I'll be very interested to see the difference because in terms of like style design and color they're literally identical so make sure you look out for that tomorrow but I do think it's really really cute you could just have like one shoulder off like this and it's just gonna look really, really adorable and like slouchy and cozy and casual. I just went on a little blogger trip this week and one of the girls was wearing a cardigan like this just with some high waist jeans. And she looked so, so cute and just like effortlessly stylish. Um, so I do think that it is a good thing to get and I really do like this one. I think out of all the cardigans I've seen, I like this the best because I really like the sleeves and I just love how like slouchy but cute it is. I did say to myself that one of the things I wanted to get out of haul week this year was a nice like chunky cardigan cardigan so I'm just going to wait until tomorrow when I see like the expensive one and see the difference because so far I do really like this and I think that I would quite like to keep it I think this is a really good like cardi option and then finally here is the last look of the video it's this beautiful beautiful dress which I love and I almost wish that I'd seen this like three months earlier because I don't really think this is a very autumnal dress I think it's very summery although I do have a couple of trips this year to sunny places so maybe I'll keep this for those trips because it's so pretty I don't even know what this design is it's all little like teardrop shapes in the fabric and it's this beautiful like off-white kind of like a hint of very very pale yellow I think it's such a beautiful 
soft colour. I love the little keyhole design in the middle. There's a little slip dress underneath because it is quite sheer. The sleeves, everything, all the details on this dress are beautiful. Look how it like flows. It's not like super tight or fitted. Yes, I still think it looks very flattering and just really carefree and whimsical. I'm just getting like summer vibes from this, but I am going to Palm Springs in a couple of weeks. So maybe I'll take this with me because it's so, so adorable. I mean, maybe if you did have it with like a cardigan and your over the knee boots, then you could make this an autumn dress. I'm not really sure this is like the right one to go with it because it's like the same color. I mean, you could, it doesn't look terrible, but I do still think it looks summery and it kind of looks like you're wearing your summer dress in autumn, winter with a cardigan. And that's like one of my pet style hates when you look like you're using your spring, summer wardrobe in autumn, winter, and it doesn't quite fit. I just really, I don't know why, it just really bugs me. It's so, so pretty. I think it kind of has a little bit of a Chloe or like a C by Chloe vibe. If you had this with like the brown Chloe Nile bag, oh my God, it would look so amazing. Maybe I should loan the brown Nile from Catwalk Club for my LA trip and wear this, oh my God. I love getting inspiration on the spot. So the verdict is adore the dress, but not really for autumn winter. So guys, that's the end of the H&M haul. I really hope you liked the groovy outfits. This has really got me inspired for my autumn winter fashion now. I'm feeling kind of more in the mood, so I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to join me tomorrow evening for a brand new haul. Bye.